Yeah, yeah. So the first time I show this guy, but I love this guy. He's a pretty new YouTuber. I started following him when he only had like a thousand people. But this guy is so funny. Like he's really funny. You could tell he's trying. Um, and, and it's all part of the show, you know, like he, he, he does it on purpose. He wears stupid glasses and two stupid watches. And he's just he, he's over the top on purpose. But he's so goddamn funny. So let's 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 listen to this. I'm confused. I'm confused. Yeah, yeah. What? We broke him. We finally broke Logan Paul. We broke that broccoli-headed buffoon. But we mustn't get complacent. This is no time to celebrate. We must keep the pressure on. We must keep our foot on the gas until he is found in a forest in Japan. Logan Paul is losing his mind. The lunchly backlash has broken him. Here he is, completely confused, but it gets worse. He even breaks down and starts crying in the middle of this podcast. Check this out. And <laughs> I didn't want to do that, bro. I'm not, I, just, I, don't, I didn't need to uh, get emotional. I'm just, you know, I'm a little tired. Wow. Ran off crying like a little bitch, like a dirty little slut. Logan Paul's an absolute mess. Have you ever seen him like this before? The lunchly backlash. We're winning. We're winning the war against the lizard people and their stupid influencers that they use to dumb down the next generation so that they can control society. Because a dumb society is an easily controlled society. So is a sick and weak society that has grown up on lunchly. Yeah, that happens to me too. When I get super tired, it, it, my, it heightens my emotions. But it's also okay, man. Why don't you stay over here and cry on camera? Let's bro, people meme it. That's fine. They're going to And you can tell. This is his buddy. I don't remember his name there, but he's best friends with Logan. But Logan shits on him so fucking much. Like, deep down, he's enjoying this. He wants to see him cry. He, he's, he, he doesn't like Logan Paul. He's still there because he needs money to survive, you know. But he doesn't like Logan Paul. And it's his own friend. You know, it's unbelievable to meme you anyways everybody already hate that's the thing about you you can do anything you want because no one likes you anyways right. <laughs> he actually makes an excellent point mongoloid mike makes an excellent point now it's not just the lunchly backlash that has made him into such an emotional little bitch but he just had a daughter would you like to see her would you like to see his newborn baby oh he's so proud of her he's so proud of her that he showed her off at the start watch this okay um yeah no just i'm what kind of pants is he wearing? Like, he just came all over his fucking pants? What's going on here? Just came in from painting? Yeah, right, this guy doesn't paint. Like, what the fuck? I'm a new dad. Uh, Did you see the baby? You see the baby? It's been in his arms. Since the start of this podcast. Such a good baby being so quiet. Such a good little baby. Not fussy at all. Lucky guy. Maybe I should show her, show her to the yeah, world, I mean, bro. She's here. Clickbait. Here we go. Baby. Here's our baby. Brand new to the world. Here we go. Lunchly is now in stores. Kroger, Albertsons, and all the banners it flies under. Even his buddy Mike is like, everyone's going to hate this. Everyone's going to hate, like, he he's really mastered the art of being fucking the worst kind of cringe out there. Like, it's unbelievable. Uh, turkey cheese and cracker stack is right here and nacho cheese. Pathetic. Disgusting. Using the birth of your first child to promote your processed garbage. To promote your latest scam. Basically the edible crypto zoo. Shameless. Shameless. This is classic narcissist behavior. This guy is already almost a billionaire on paper, but it's not enough. He's got to use the birth of his child to push his latest product. And you know what's crazier than that? Is that apparently people watching this actually believed that he had his baby in his arms. It's true. Look in the... One thing I want to note, mention too is like, 
you know, there's some people that let money and fame get to them and, and totally warp the, the, who they are and into some fucking loser. And then there's other people like Joe Rogan who stay strong, who don't let the money get to them. Obviously, obviously he enjoys it. He does big deals like with Scopely for $300 million and whatever. But he doesn't let it, he doesn't act differently. He doesn't act all macho and stupid. He, he doesn't. But Logan Paul does the complete opposite. He let it get to his head. Even Logan Paul's brother, I don't know his name, fuck, Aaron Paul or whatever. He's the, the boxer there. He, he's better than Logan Paul because at least he's more trying to be real. Yeah, also it's getting to his head and he's like, oh, look at all this shit I have. But he's more genuine. Like Logan Paul, you can tell he's just like a little fucking clown and he does whatever he thinks is going to work but it's like he's so far down the rabbit hole of of like popularity and stuff and he's gone through the gambit of everything that now he's totally lost he doesn't know what works what doesn't work and he's just a complete fucking loser and a douche and he doesn't like everyone loves to hate him because he, he he's so cringy i mean a lot of these other people that are getting famous on YouTube, they're not letting it get to them. And they're not cringy at all. They stay the same. That's all we want. Like The comments. The Lunchly Baby Fake was cold with 101 thumbs up. So, wow, that just tells you everything about his audience. That they thought a newborn baby was in his arms that whole time, completely motionless, completely quiet, and that he was actually revealing his baby. I knew from the start that was a lunch in that towel. Because I'm not retarded. But that's the thing. His fan base is. And that's how Prime has sold so much. And that's why he thought lunch would do so well. And it would have done well. If it wasn't for guys like Dan ATM. And even little guys like me. With my tiny amount of views. Still making a little difference. Getting the truth out there about their poisonous garbage that they're trying to push on children, claiming that it's healthier when it is not. But the truth is getting out there about Lunchly. This is not gonna have the same success as Prime. People know that Lunchly is crap from the get-go. Even, even the porch pirates know Lunchly is garbage. Listen to this insane story. Bro, why would you launch a perishable product? It, they sent three Holy fuck, that's another super cringy thing. You're getting your haircut done while you're doing this podcast, right? It's like it's like when you when your mom calls and you're like, oh fuck, I, I have to talk to my mom. I might as well start cleaning up my the plate, put her on speakerphone and start cleaning and shit while I talk to her so I can get a lot of things done. It's like he doesn't give a fuck about the podcast, he doesn't give a fuck about anything. Let me just uh, he's showed up to work and now he wants to get his haircut done at the same fucking time. You know how terrible that makes you look? You know how pretentious? Like, you see NBA stars do that. Like Michael Jordan and shit. Like I, I was just watching, there's a new uh, documentary on Netflix. It's about the NBA and they're following all the, the famous athletes. And this is what they do. They're, they're, at, they're in the interview or whatever and they're getting a haircut at the same time. And it's before their game. And, you know, because they're... they're they're so powerful, but it's like, I like for NBA stars to do it. That's one thing, but for a YouTuber to do it, like, come on, dude, go fuck yourself. Three of them to my house. Yep. You know, I also saw like, you got you got robbed by a package, a door to door package stealer. I did. He didn't steal the lunch lead? He did not. <laughs> <laughs> the porch pirate left the lunch lead. Keep listening. Oh, he warm. stole my my donut shop coffee which is my favorite thing, mm. 36 count from Amazon. Mm. My 36 count of donut shop coffee. I have no coffee at my home right now. So the porch pirate goes up to this guy's $4 million mansion in Los Angeles, sees a box of ground coffee and a box of lunch lee, leaves the lunch lee, snatches the coffee, runs off. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. Even a lowlife porch pirate whose pathetic existence is stealing people's ground coffee will not take lunch lee. You can't make this stuff up, folks.
Do you guys understand why Logan Paul is breaking and he's so confused and he's crying all over the place? Even the dregs of society won't eat lunch leaf for free. He wants people to buy it. At my local store is $4.49, but he can't get people to take it for free off a porch. Ah, oh, you love to see it. Go ahead, baby. Okay, Michael. I, I am not sure if I'm my best self at the moment because I'm pretty tired, which is why I'm drinking this. Zoom in. Just make it end. Dream Prop Prime Energy, Just which is 18 it. plus. Just make it end. Um, wow. Oh, God. Do you believe me when I tell you that he is a soulless narcissist? He's a sociopath. I've never seen anyone shamelessly plug their product so fucking much to the point where like he was interviewing Hulk Hogan one time and Hulk Hogan is like, do you have anything to drink? And there's five bottles of prime in front of him. And he's like, I don't want this fucking shit. And it's like, like, I just, I, it, it, I can't even, I have no words to express the amount of cringe I get off of Logan Paul. It's like, I, I, I don't understand how his brain is obviously not fully functioning. He got punched a little too many times when he was boxing or wrestling. And, and now he's just like, yeah, yeah, here's my product. That's all he does. That's all, he's a walking fucking billboard. I don't know if he's a full-blown psychopath, like a serial killer, but he's definitely a sociopath. So he's already used his baby to promote Lunchly when he wrapped it up in the towel. And again, when Mike follows up and says, hey, so how is the baby going? He uses that as an opportunity to promote Prime. It's despicable. Like, imagine you're his wife watching this. Now, she probably doesn't care because she's just with him for the money. It's not like she's with him because she thinks he's some sort of honorable man. It's not like she's some honorable woman either. So they deserve each other. Lunchly was essentially created to move more product of Prime and Feastables. You guys gotta see through the smoke screen and understand what Lunchly actually is. Prime did really well in its first couple of years, but then the public started turning. The public started turning, the lawsuits came out, and now they have trouble moving it. I've gotten reports that it's at Dollar Tree, two prime for a buck 25, when this stuff used to go for upwards of 15 bucks in some Euro European countries. So they're having trouble moving that piss. So how do we find it? How do we find a way to move it? Let's see, the teens and adults aren't buying it anymore. Let's give it to little kids. But I mean, how do we convince kindergartners that they need a sports drink? I know. We'll just put it into their boxed lunch. That's how we move more product of this. Let's just make some smaller bottles this time, fill it up with all this prime piss that we don't know what to do with. And Mr. Beast is going, yeah, people are turning on me. People aren't buying my Feastables as much anymore. Let's shove that in there and give it to unknowing kindergartners. Even if their parents know better, the kids will nag them to death and they'll end up buying it anyway. That's what... That's what Launchly is, you guys. It's a way to move more Prime. It's a way to move more Feastables because the sales on those things are dying. And in fact, they're having so much trouble moving Prime that Logan Paul is just giving it away. Watch this. Okay, you sent a bunch of Prime to North Carolina yeah. for to, to help as a relief for this awful yeah. hurricane. Helene, is that how you pronounce it? Helene, right? I don't... <laughs> okay. If you're a mouth breather, you would actually think that he was doing that out of the goodness of his heart, sending prime to hurricane victims. But if you have half a brain cell, you would know that's a marketing stunt. One of you mouth breathing mongoloids sent me a tweet about this saying, hey bro, why don't you give credit where credit is due, bro? Look at Paul sent prime to hurricane victims. What do they need prime for, asshole? It's all artificial sweeteners. It doesn't even have any calories. Or if it does, it's, it's a small amount of calories. That was their whole selling point, right? That they replace sugar with artificial sweetener. So you, you might as well be drinking water. In fact, water is better for you because it doesn't have artificial sweeteners. In my last video about Lunchly and Logan Paul, I showed you the studies about the artificial sweeteners that are in Prime. If I'm a hurricane victim, I would rather have bottles of water delivered to me. If he's trying to actually help them, send them water.
Send them canned foods. Send them protein bars. Send dog and cat food for their pets. Prime? You're sending Prime. Why? Because it's just sitting. It's just sitting in your warehouse. And it's cheaper to truck it over to North Carolina than it is to pay for these warehouses to house something that is just not moving on the shelves. But there's a more insidious reason why he sent the Prime over. And it's not just a marketing stunt. He's trying to sway the election. He's trying to sway the election. Don't you find it kind of curious that all these natural disasters, these massive natural disasters, are happening so close to the election? Don't you find it I, I I actually had a thought about this. People have been mentioning, like, uh, the Kamala, not Kamala Harris, but Trump has this blonde-haired supporter that's from Texas, and she's kind of stupid, but... And she was saying, like, oh, they can control the weather and shit. I believe they can control the weather. But I don't believe they can create hurricanes like that. And I actually looked into the hurricanes, and it, it, it happened... Right now, we're in a solar maximum. The, the sun has 11-year cycles where it's it gets super strong and then super weak. That's why we're having all these auroras. And it actually gives more energy into the atmosphere and powers hurricanes even more. So that's why there was two hurricanes and they were so strong because we we're also getting extra energy from the sun. So I don't believe that they were they were doing this. But I do believe that the elections are around this time and usually around this time there's natural disasters. And so they can use that to their advantage, but it's always been at around this time that there's hurricanes. It's, it's since forever. So I don't think they're creating the hurricanes. They might be boosting it a bit with energies, but I think that was just the sun. So I just think they placed the elections at this time because this it's the end of summer. There's more, there's usually hurricanes and disasters around this time. So. So yes, they they use it to their advantage, and maybe they they put the elections at that date on purpose a long time ago to 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 use it. But I don't think they're creating hurricanes. Curious that these massive natural disasters are disproportionately affecting red states, Tennessee, Florida, and states that are kind of tipping towards the red, like North Carolina. Isn't that but it's always been Florida, always, always been Florida, New Orleans. It's always been along the coast there, you know, like it's, I don't, I don't. Kind of a crazy coincidence. We ha we're having these massive hurricanes hitting red states right before an election. Sure, it might just be coincidence. Sure, it might just be coincidence. Or it could be man-made storms. Man-made storms targeting red states to wipe them out before they can vote. You can't vote if you're dead. Actually, that's not true. We learned that in 2020. But you're not gonna be out voting when your house has been decimated, your car is underwater, you're looking for your dog that's been missing for five days, you're not gonna go voting. Guys, listen, we have learned over the last few months that the CIA has been weaponized the DOJ has been weaponized, and the FBI has been weaponized against their political opponents. Now the CIA, in conjunction with NASA, has the ability to create natural disasters. They have the ability to create storms. How come a natural disaster didn't hit New York, Chicago, California? And before you say, oh, those aren't hurricane areas. Do you have, the, do you have any idea how overdue California is for a massive earthquake? They're right on the fault line. That's another thing. People are saying uh, there's an earthquake that's going to happen soon. But the earthquake in Los Angeles, it's been overdue for something like 600,000 years or something. So it could still go on for another 100,000 years before it goes off. It could be 10 years. It could be 1,000 years. It could be 100,000 years. You know? So... How come they didn't get hit? They're trying to sway the election. And the people that- But this guy also, like, once you know his videos, you know he's not really being 100% serious. He's just, he doesn't, he doesn't give a shit. It didn't get killed 
or displaced by the hurricanes are now drinking prime to turn them gay so that they vote for Kamala Harris. That's the real reason he trucked in prime. Now listen, I'm not judging. I'm just observing. Hey, I'm a Canadian citizen. I don't have a dog in the fight. This is not be me being some extreme right winger. Listen, on this channel, I've never discussed politics. And I've told you I don't discuss politics because it creates disunity. They want us fighting each other. It's not about left versus right. It's about top versus bottom. The bottom being the people in the sewer, you and I. I don't care who you're voting for. You are welcome down here unless you have a broccoli cut or you're a lizard person. We don't want you down here. But anyone of any political affiliation can be down here. Again, I can't even vote in the upcoming election, even though I have been on U.S. soil for the last year. I've been living in the States for the last year. I cannot vote in this election. The illegals can vote. That's been established. The illegals are allowed to vote. I mean, that was the entire reason we let in 11 to 20 million of them over the last three and a half years. So they're allowed to vote. The people whose first act on American soil was committing a crime, which was illegally entering the country, they're allowed to vote. I can't. The guy who is trying to immigrate here legally, spending thousands on filing fees, lawyer fees, I'm not allowed to. So I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm a Canadian citizen watching from afar. So I just observe the fact that men who vote for Kamala are homosexuals. Or there's straight men who wear wigs and makeup, pretend to be women, to use the women's bathroom to diddle innocent girls' bunguses. Just observing, not judging, not being political, not being a right-wing extremist, just observing as a journalist, as the last unbiased journalist alive. That's all this is. That's all this is. I just noticed homosexuals for Harris and chads for Trump, okay? Not judging, just observing. So they hit the red states and turning red states with natural disasters to keep them from voting. And as the final nail in the coffin, sent Prime in there to turn them gay. If you're wondering, wait, what's the connection between Prime and being gay? You must be new here. I've made several videos on how Prime is a bioweapon that was created by the lizard people to turn males gay. And then they got Logan Paul to push it. He signed a deal with the devil. You will make several hundred million dollars. Just push this to your young male fans. Enough about that. I don't like discussing politics. Let's move on. I've said this a million times. It, there is at least some level of journalistic responsibility and some level of oversight there. Bro, you go on X, it's insane. Mikey. It is, it is completely and utterly just unhinged. It is a hole. A hole full yes. of falsehood, untruths, defamatory statements. That's the other thing I wanted to mention earlier. Look how fucking pale this guy is. This guy lives in California. What the fuck is this guy doing? He's just inside. Fucking just looks like he's fucking dying. Statements, no one being held accountable because they... Wow. To set this up, if in case you didn't know what Mikey was talking about here, Mongo Mike, he was talking about how the mainstream news, like CNN, MSNBC, they at least have some journalistic integrity. And there's some oversight there, keeping them in check. But X, Twitter, that's where the propaganda is. Oh, Mongo Mike. Oh, you have earned your nickname today, my friend. You absolute retard. So why, why are they attacking X all of a sudden? Why are they attacking the last bastion of free speech when it comes to social media? Yeah, yeah. I know why, because of community notes. I've heard about this. I think, I think this is where he's going, because every time KSI or Logan Paul posts something, there's always like a community notice underneath saying like most of this is not true or or be aware of, of false information from this person or something. It's pretty funny. There's Rumble, there's Odyssey, but 
those things are so tiny compared to YouTube, uh, Facebook, X. So uh, you really can't count those guys, okay? Among the big boys, X is the only one that allows freedom of speech. And it's not perfect. It's not perfect. A few months ago, I tried to send a tweet to YouTube, to the YouTube Twitter profile, calling them gay. X wouldn't allow me to send the tweet. I hit send and it said, no, this is hate speech. So, so Twitter is not perfect, don't get me wrong. But it's miles better than YouTube. It's miles better than... And that's, that's another interesting topic, like hate speech, you know? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to hate someone. I'm not allowed to voice my concerns. So how is that going to happen when there's a, an election and you can't say anything negative about them? But what, you're literally infringing on our, our freedom of speech. I'm allowed to hate people and I'm allowed to throw that hate at them and say whatever I want to say. And it's up for them to either listen or not listen to me and walk away. So, you know, it, our, our rights are still, we're still losing our rights. And that's another thing with Elon Musk, like, He's always a force for good, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of shit he's doing, it's like, it could go either way. He's going to have an army of robots and cars, and he could he could literally cause traffic jams and stop society in most cities. He's going to have an army of millions of robots in your homes that he can probably control. Like, he's going to space, he's, he's doing whatever he wants, and it's like, yeah, he took over X. He thought there was a, a problem with freedom of speech, but now he's still controlling. You're not allowed to say gay or, or put condescending things. Like, I, I understand maybe, like, don't barrage people with negativity. Like, okay, you've already written five negative comments um, hate, with hate speech in it. We're limiting it. Fine. But I should still be allowed to, to say hateful things to and about people. Facebook. So why are they attacking it? Why are they attacking it standing up for CNN and MSNBC and all that garbage? He probably thinks The View has journalistic integrity. Why are they trashing X? Again, they're trying to sway the election. So they must attack Twitter because there are people on there telling you the truth about what's going on, telling you the things mainstream media is not telling you. Hey, don't believe that stuff you see on there. Believe CNN, they have journalistic integrity. And he thinks this is gonna work. He thinks this is gonna work, why? Because he thinks you're an idiot. He thinks you're an idiot. I'll have him say it himself, listen to this. Especially because like, unfortunately, most humans are not in a spot where they can discern the truth. People are idiots and they don't even know that. They're so stupid, they don't even know they're stupid. So you see a headline and it's not, hmm, does that sound like it could be true? It's, that must be true, it's on X. <laughs> wow, that must be true, it's on X. Not, that must be true, it's on CNN. That must be true, it's on MSNBC. Wow, dude. I swear to God, like, he's, just, he's on coke or something. You know, you can't, you, why are you so pale? You're on drugs or something, man. That's not normal. Wow, incredible. But you just heard him say, most people are idiots. And for once, Logan Paul is telling the truth. Unfortunately, most people are idiots. And that's why we are in the mess that we are in. That's why Prime was able to sell 1.7 billion worth of product in its second year. However, people's eyes are starting to open. That's why Lunchly was not embraced with open arms. The idiots are turning on you, Logan. The idiots are waking up. The idiots are starting to breathe from their nostrils. Now let's get back to Lunchly. Congratulations on the baby. Congratulations on the, the launch of this product that has just really, really angered a lot of people. So many people, bro. I, I, I just, I, I have to, and I have to say, I feel for them. There have been many snacks and beverages that have upset me to yeah. a point that I almost had a manic breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them gaslighting us. Look at them mocking us. 
It's like what Logan said in that last video I made about him. You mad about crackers, bruh? You mad about pizza, bruh? You mad about nachos, bruh? Look at this. They just tried. Oh, we just released this innocent snack. And KSI is the other like side of Logan Paul. At least Logan Paul's not always going like. <laughs> like I cannot stand KSI. I, and they're they're paired up together. It's like the perfect people to fucking hate. I, I, I've never hated people so much. Like, yes, I have, but like, this is a different kind of hate. This is not real deep hate. This is just surface hate. I don't know these guys personally, but it's just like seeing them all the time and seeing them talk. And I'm always watching these other videos of people making fun of them, but I still have to watch these fuckers talk. And it's so cringy and I just, I can't take it anymore. But yeah, kid, like, when he starts laughing like KSI, like, <laughs> like he's literally trying to copy KSI because he thinks KSI is successful, but KSI is also burning and burning to the ground because everybody thinks he's super fucking annoying. And people are having mental breakdowns. You know what's funny? The only people I'm seeing have mental breakdowns are Logan Paul and KSI. I've documented that in the, in the start of this video, in my last video about lunch leave. In my live streams about KSI, they look like they're having full-blown mental breakdowns. Not us. I'm not having a breakdown. I'm just calling you out for your garbage new product. You guys are having the mental breakdowns. Gaslighting us. The irony that they're saying we're having breakdowns. Did Dan ATM have a breakdown? No, he just sent one tweet. And then KSI has had a non-stop mental breakdown since. Speaking of Dan ATM, Mongo Mike and Logan Paul pretend they had no idea who he was. But yeah, Dan TDM is apparently pretty big. He's got a lot of a lot of fans who <clears throat> like his Minecraft content and and hate you. <laughs> well, I can we take a second to appreciate that Logan Paul is getting a gay haircut like a poodle during this podcast, crying during the podcast? Oh, I'm so confused during this podcast. He's the one having the mental breakdown. This is a man having a mental breakdown. Now, I would point to this using. He's about to say last time he has the, the finger, uh, I forget what he calls it, but he tapped his TV on his last video and he broke his TV. <laughs> the hand of truth. But after the hand of truth broke my monitor in the last video, we must use this thing with extreme caution. Speaking of which, this is my new monitor. And I would like to thank all the generous sewer dwellers who sent me money last week to replace my monitor. I did not ask. I did not ask you guys to help me. All you saw was me smash my monitor in last week's video, and you stepped up and you helped me out without me even asking. Bless your hearts. And it's an upgrade. It's the same size as the last one. It's the same brand as the last one, but the last one was 1080p. This is 4K. So hopefully you can see. But yeah, what is the brand? I think it's Insignia. I mean, that's the cheapest thing you can get. That's why it broke so easily last time. You should have invested in something a little bit better there, but. The footage better. And again, thank you so much to all of you. You guys rock. So here he is getting his gay haircut, pretending that he doesn't know who Dan ATM is. Mongo Mike pretends he doesn't know who Dan ATM is. Let's continue. I, I, I guess like, I, you know, all I can do is, 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 is hear him and, you know, hear what people are saying. And um, we're a company that listens to the consumer and the feedback. And we have, we have some stuff in the pipeline. I think that's going to excite people. But yeah. Guys, Lunchly has some stuff in the pipeline that's going to excite us. Oh my God, I'm so excited. What did you put in your kindergarten snack pack? It's going to excite us. It's going to turn the public opinion right around. Because you listen to feedback. You're a man of the people, Logan Paul. Oh my God. Let's see what else this idiot has to say about this Lunchly crap. Yeah, man, I, I, I think we're in a, a weird spot where tearing people down and hatred and negativity gets way more attention, clicks, and views than the opposite. Oh, 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 like showing a dead body hanging from a tree? Asshole? Like that? Like that negativity? Dickhead? And it's the gaslighting. 
oh, you people are just hateful. Oh, it's just negativity. Maybe we're calling out a bad product. Maybe that's what we're doing. Maybe we're trying to keep you from hurting children with your poison. Purely in the name of profits. Which is a little sad because like in a world... Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. world where um, YouTubers are trying to expand and build businesses, I, I do feel like there should be a, a level of support. Like, I think YouTubers should be supporting YouTubers, and, and um, I guess I, I, I... Why? Why, though? If, if we see you creating a product that is not healthy for children while lying and saying it's healthy for them, I, I should hope that people speak up. Like, what, what kind of sellout would you have to be to go, oh, my God, I should support Logan because he's a YouTuber and I'm a YouTuber? And, like... You can tell, I forget his name there, but this guy, he's so fed up with Logan Paul too. Like he's constantly, he doesn't even hide it. He makes fun of him. He keeps mentioning that Logan Paul, nobody likes him. And then when Logan Paul says cringy things like this, like, oh, YouTubers support us. You can tell like, he's like, Ugh. like he knows everything he's saying is wrong and cringy. And he knows that no one's going to like it. Like, and he's just like, oh, here he goes again. Like, you could tell he doesn't even like Logan Paul. He's just here for the money, He's just completely using Logan Paul. And it's pathetic. Let, let, me, let me make this billionaire even richer. I hear what he's saying, but, you know, we, we've made a, uh, when compared to Lunchables, a, a better for you option. Oh, God, I hope Lunchables sues them into bankruptcy. That is an absolute lie. It is not a better for you product. I know I've explained this in previous videos, but if you haven't watched any of those videos, the reason they say that Lunchly is healthier is because it has less sugar. Why does it have less sugar? Because Lunchables comes with a Capri Sun, okay, juice. Lunchly comes with a Prime. Their Prime drink replaces the sugar that would be in Capri Sun with artificial sweeteners. So it has less sugar. And thus, Lunchly has less calories, which is actually a bad thing for kids, but these people are retarded. So they're going, well, ours has less calories and less sugar, so it's a better for you option. No, it's not. Both of those things are negatives for children. I showed you the studies about artificial sweeteners last week, but I don't want to go over that again. Just watch my previous videos on Logan Paul and Lunchly if you're interested in that. And I hope Lunchable sues him because it is an absolute lie that it's better for you. They're both crap. Lunchly is worse. And for you absolute retards who have been sending me comments over the last week saying, yo, where was this energy for lunch, Lunchables, bro? Lunchables isn't good for you either. They're the exact same thing. No, they're not. Lunchables, not good. Lunchly, worse because of the added artificial sweetener. So shut up, you Logan Paul dick riders. Ugh, people are, people, he's right, people are idiots. He's actually right, I hate to say it. Anyways, I think uh, a bunch of you missed my first video about Lunchly. That video didn't get a lot of views. And I broke down their taste test when they compared it to Lunchables. And what absolute nonsense. Oh, Mr. Beast. Beast. Yeah, that video is pretty good. I, I recommend you guys go check it out. He, this guy is really funny. Everything he releases is, is, is good, so. Definitely subscribe to him if you haven't. Uh, he's called Sewer King. Um, yeah, really good. Go like, I'm kind of sad he moved from Canada to uh, America. Kind of like, why would you? Anyways. All right, peace out.